How's it going, Jack Attackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for the Season 5 premiere of Fear the Walking Dead. But first, remember, if you guys are new, make sure to check out my social media and vlogging channel down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so this was an interesting episode. I was actually pretty excited to get back into Fear the Walking Dead and do videos for it. So I was really looking forward to this premiere and there was a bunch of, well, speculation I should say that the Rick movies or the Rick storyline or whatever you want to call it is going to tie into this uh, season. And it kind of does. Uh, right away talking off uh, about the ending of this episode Huh. I'm very interested to see where that goes. Um, Althea had the papers with the same, like, logo or symbol that was on the Rick Grimes helicopter, uh, that one that took Rick Grimes, I should say, at the end of Season 9, Episode 5 of The Walking Dead. So, that leads me to believe that it, that's like our confirmation, I should say, that yeah, the Rick movies or the Rick storyline, whatever, is tied to this season and we're going to gradually get closer to that also i might have a theory video going over the black armor uh i know a lot of people thinking that's the commonwealth version i know in the comics it's white uh the armor so i might do a theory video going on like where rick might be and how it all ties into this season and stuff like that with the commonwealth if it is but overall this episode started off pretty strong i'd say but it really got weaker as it went on and kind of boring, if I'm being completely honest. Um, it wasn't a bad episode or anything. It was just okay. I feel like that's a pretty good way to, like, summarize this episode. The new characters we were introduced to, Max and Dylan, and I guess their sister, which, I don't know. She might have had a name, but I didn't really pick it up. Um, they're... I don't really know where they're going. We also got introduced to this guy named Logan, who's... Hopefully going to be, like, not, I really hope he's not, like, the main villain of this first half, or, you know, I hope he gets stopped pretty quickly. Um, also, the plane was apparently being flown by uh, our group, like, Althea was flying it, and it was kind of a disappointment, but, because I really wanted that, I don't know, to be, like, involved with Rick in some sort of way, but it wasn't, but again, we, we still are getting connections tied to Rick, uh, obviously, at the end of this episode, it's the same symbol that was on the helicopter that took him away, so, yeah. Um, we also do know that there's, like, there's gonna be some sort of standoff with Logan and the other group, uh, our group, I should say, and, uh, Logan doesn't want people to die, but, I mean, people are probably going to die. Um, also, Luciana's pretty hurt. Uh, she got, like, impaled by, like, a bar, uh, that was on the plane, so, is she okay? I guess. She seemed okay by the end of this episode, um, so yeah, I don't know. Oh, one other thing I didn't want to mention. Strand finding the video recording of uh, Daniel Salazar. He's going to be returning next week, so I'll have my promo breakdown and predictions uh, coming up right after this video. So be on the lookout for that and also the theory video that I plan on doing. But overall, this episode was okay. It wasn't amazing. Started off pretty strong, I'd say, but uh, kind of fizzled out and got a little boring to me. Just a little bit, but... I'm excited to see how this season goes ultimately, and uh, I hope it's a good one. But anyway, guys, let me hear your thoughts on this episode down in the comments below. And if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Boop.